Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. So today's video we're going to be making a DIY CO2 system for this tank. Alright guys, so this is really simple, really easy to do. All you're going to need are two plastic bottles. So this is uh, I think a one and a half litre bottle and this is like a one litre bottle, it doesn't really matter. But around that size would be good because this is going to be your bottle for your sugar and yeast mix that we're going to make in a minute. And then this is just going to be a bottle with some plain tap water and uh, that should be all good. So furthermore you're going to need some airline tubing, you know just your normal airline tubing you would use for your aquarium. And then uh, a check valve would be good so the water of the tank doesn't go back into the system. And then of course you need a CO2 diffuser, so this is just a little one here because we've got a small tank. But anyone will really do and just uh, have a look that you got the right size for your tank. So and then what I've done is here, basically I've just drilled a couple of holes in the tops. And I've then drilled the hole a little smaller than the airline tubing. And then I fitted that through. If you want to, you could also glue this. That is also possible. But anyway, what you're gonna do, you're just gonna put it through a tiny bit. So as you can see, it's only up to there. That's all you want. And then that goes into here. And this one is a bit longer. This can be longer. You know, it can fill to the bottom, whatever. But th that one needs to be a bit longer. And then the one coming out, that can be short again, as you can see here. It's uh, short and that just goes out to your tank. I've got a little valve, I've got valves here. That's just, uh, you know, you could even use two tanks with one system if you wanted to. I've done that in the past, but we're just going to use this one tank, of course. But that uh, would be nice and handy uh, to have. So that's basically how you do these bottles. Really easy and, uh, you know, anybody will probably have this stuff laying uh, in their house. You know, a couple of bottles, some airline tubing you probably will have and uh, you know a check valve you might not have and maybe the co2 diffuse is the thing that you'll need to buy that's all you're going to need for the system itself so to make the mixture you're going to need some ingredients but i don't have the ingredients in the house at the moment so we'll need to go to the shop to get the ingredients let's do that now Right guys, so we've got everything, so we've just got some sugar, we've got some gelatin, and some yeast. So what you're going to need quantity wise is 250 grams of sugar, about 3 sheets of gelatin I think, and just a couple of grams of yeast. Also you're going to need 250 grams of water. Right, so you're just going to get a pan and add the 250 grams of water. Actually, this pan is far too big, so I'm just going to get a smaller pan. Right, there we go, that's much better. Right, and then we add our 250 grams of sugar. There we go. Now we're just going to warm this up and wait until the sugar is fully dissolved in the water. And while we wait for that to warm up, we're just going to get a container of cold water. And in there, we're going to soak our three sheets of gelatin. Right, so there we go, let's just open this, there we go, and I'm just going to get three sheets of gelatin, there we go, and just plop those in there. Right, so all of the sugar has now basically dissolved into the warm water, so that's good, and now it's time to add our gelatin, so you can just take it like this, and just plop it in. Like that. And now it's also time to turn the heat off. And now we just let it cool down until it's cooled down enough to put into the plastic bottle. Right, okay, so the sugar mixture has cooled down. So I've just put it in here for it easier to be to put in here. So you're just gonna take your bottle that you made, you know, the bigger bottle, and yeah, you're just gonna pour it in. Right there we go. So as you can see it's in there now and that's going to be all good. So now we're going to put this into the fridge for the gelatine to set. 
All right, guys, our sugar mixture has set with the gelatin, so that's set, so that's all good to go. So now we're gonna make our yeast mixture. So you're just gonna need some lukewarm water, just some lukewarm water out of the tap. And then to that, we're gonna add some yeast, of course. All right, so you're just gonna add a couple of grams of the yeast, just two to three grams, something like that. So I think, yeah, there's about seven grams in this packet, so about half will do it. And then add like just a teaspoon of sugar, just to give the yeast something to eat on. And just give it a nice stir. So this is half a litre, so I need to do this two times and then it should be good. So you just let it sit now and then once it is all dissolved, you can just add it to our bottle. Just to clarify, I should have done actually like one and a half to two grams in here instead of three, because this is of course half a litre of water, but what I'll just do, I'll just add this and then I'll add another half a litre on top without any yeast in it. Right, so now we're just going to add this mixture to the bottle. There we go. There we go, and now I'm just going to add some more, a half a litre of water. Right, there we go, so I'll just add this. And then after that, we should be pretty good to go. There we go, see if we can make it to the top. It doesn't need to come all the way to the top, so... You know, something like that will be fine, actually. Right, and now we can install it into the system. Right, guys, we're back upstairs. And so I've got here the bottle with our uh, yeast mixture and our sugar and gelatin mixture down here. So this is all good now. And now we can just connect it to our system that we made. So we can just screw this back on. So let's see if I can do that without it falling. Right, uh, something like, well, there we go, kind of, but then, well, it's it's difficult because everything is moving and, well, eh, yeah. All right, it, it'll work. Just give me a sec. Make sure it's really nice and tight so no pressure goes to waste. There we go, that's nicely on. Right, and then in this bottle, we just want some water, just some plain water from the tap. And that's basically gonna clean our CO2. So you know this, what comes out of here is CO2, of course, because of the reaction between the yeast eating the sugar and you know that uh, you get CO2 with that. And then that goes through here and this basically just cleans it. You know, you don't want this really going into your tank. You could do that if you wanted to, but I just like to do it in here. So it goes here through the water and then up through here into the tank via the diffuser, of course. So I'm just gonna fill this up with water. Right, there we go. So just up to there is like good enough. It's, uh, the main thing is to have this in the water. So let's screw this back on. So there we go, nice and airtight. You want it, of course, again, so you have no pressure loss. Right, and so now what's gonna happen, we're gonna set it up you know, in the back there so you can't see it, put the diffuser in, and we're gonna give it a couple of, you know, a couple of hours, maybe even a day, 24 hours, something like that, until pressure starts building up in here, and then it's gonna go through, you're gonna see that bubbling in here, and you should get CO2 bubbles, but like I said, that can take a while. So I'll get it set up now, and then I'll catch back up with you guys once we are starting to see CO2 bubbles. Right, okay guys, I got it all set up, so I've got it nicely there in the back corner, you can't really see it, I'll show you with some b-roll, and then it comes in here with the diffuser, as you can see, no air bubbles yet, and that's to be expected, or CO2 bubbles I should say, that's to be expected of course, it needs a little while, but like I said, I'll check back in with you guys once I start seeing CO2 bubbles. Alright guys, so we're now two days later, and as you can see, We've got CO2 bubbles, so they are starting to come out. You can see there. So that's really good news. So that means the system is working. And this has been going on for a couple of hours now. So it needed some time, you know, to get those bubbles through the tubing into the diffuser because that just takes pressure and that's, you know, difficult to, to create. So this is going into here and that's going into the tank. And so you might be able to see there the 
bubbles coming out as you can see there see like every couple of well i don't know like every couple of seconds those bubbles are going out there so that's good that's a sign it's working of course and that goes then into the tank right so i just want to talk about some pros and cons so of course what's really good we've got co2 now in the tank which is going to help with the plants to grow and do really well so that's a good thing um but the the cons basically is that it's on 24 7 so you can't shut it off at least not without a solenoid valve you could get that and put it in between but that's a whole different subject so that's the thing so what you need to do is make sure you have enough uh, water surface movement you know make sure it's moving all the time so there's enough gas exchange so that if well we don't have fish in here but if you would have fish in here that they don't suffocate furthermore this system will last you about four to six weeks it depends a little bit how much you use and how well you made the mixture and stuff but uh, to keep it going say it's like getting a bit less what you can do is just shake the bottle and then that will make uh, the production of CO2 go up a little bit. As you can see, more bubbles are coming out there, so that's good. And uh, that's basically it, I think. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.